So on another episode of what in the heck did we drag home now, we got a uh, 84 Corvette here. Um, found this thing on a Facebook site actually, it called Man's Shit for Sale. Um, pretty doggone ugly car. The uh, we got a 95 tail and a 95 front end on a uh, 84 Corvette here. Uh, the thing's been repainted very badly, interior's trashed, column is broke, passenger side window is busted out. Uh, there's a nice view of the back. Uh, Tanuk top has been uh, left open, obviously the paint's all flaking. Uh, tires are bald and rotted, had all four tires flat when I bought it. Uh, headlight was stuck up, I got that to go most of the way back down, but um, somebody's head went through the windshield. And I, I have uh, never thought that I would see a Corvette that I was not willing to pay $700 for, and that's what they were asking for this thing was $700. Uh, yeah, I could not pay $700 for this thing. It is ugly. But I could pay $600. So after a little bit of negotiations, we got them down to $600. Bucks. Uh, we got the real quality... Crossfire Injection 350 Chevy in here, uh, the most hated Corvette motor ever made uh, because they got about eight miles to the gallon. They did okay for power, about 300 horsepower for 1984, you know, that wasn't too bad, but uh, people hate them. Uh, but looking at this thing as a Corvette, there is not much to see here. I mean, the, the wheels have about a $300 eBay value. The digital dash in it, if it's any good, has about a $300 value. You got some glass here. If you can sell it locally, it's worth a couple hundred bucks. But otherwise, almost every body panel on this thing is junk. So if you look at it as a Corvette, uh, it's pretty worthless. I probably lost money trying to buy a Corvette here at 600 bucks. But now if you look at it the other way, what I've got is an 88,000 mile uh, chassis. So I've got an engine and transmission and axles with 88,000 miles on them. It's a low mile car. So looking at this as street rod parts, uh, I got a hell of a deal because the rear axle by itself can go for $1,200 to $2,000. Uh, engine, you know, they're hated, but the basic engine, the 350 that's under that intake manifold, is a good solid engine. So you throw a carburetor on that thing and get rid of the computer, you got a damn good engine. So 600 bucks for a running low mile 350, it did pretty good. There's a transmission sitting behind it that's pretty decent. I mean, it's just a 700 R4, but hey, you know, it's a good tranny. The oil looks good, nice and red. So did okay for 600 bucks for street rod parts. So that's what we're going to do with it, most likely. Um, looking at the understructure of the car, there is no rust on this thing. As ugly as the actual fiberglass body is, there's no rust on it. So even the exhaust system is intact, other than the fact when they pulled it out of the ditch, they uh, put a snap strap under this, uh, under this side of the muffler and bent the muffler. So we'll get her cleaned up, probably strip the body down, and uh, build a street rod with this thing and have some fun. Thanks for watching.